my channel today. This is Mark the Tech Guy with Vlogs Weekly number 31. So this week I thought I would do the vlogs in front of my Christmas tree that I took you guys downtown there to, to get last weekend. Now you guys remember I was down there and I got it. And all these trees were donated by Home Depot to our local TV station here, Breakfast Television. So we went down there, got a tree, and the minimum donation of $10, that's a really good price to pay for a tree and all the money goes to a good cause so I gave twenty dollars why not because where are you gonna find a tree like this for twenty dollars you're not so I got the tree home we let it sit for a day um, then we were putting the decorations on the lights and uh, I turned my back for a minute and the tree fell over onto my back and I, I was leaning on my shoulder and I'm like, it scared me. I didn't know what it was. And the wife's laughing at me because the tree is laying on my back. So she goes to hold up the tree while I tighten it in the stand. And uh, it was it was pretty funny. I wish I had caught it on film so you guys could see it because, uh, geez, it was it was really funny. It would have been something that could have been posted on Fail Blog or something. But uh, yeah, it was. <laughs> It was pretty funny. So we put the ornaments back on and everything was fine. But I wanted to be on the safe side and go, okay, this is going to fall over again if we just, you know, we go out one day and, you know, it starts to get a little loose in the stand again, it'll fall over. So what I wanted to do was put some string on the tree and then tie it to a bracket that I put in the wall. So it's nice. It's holding up really good. The tree's not moving at all. But I just wanted to be on the safe side and just put this, you know, string back there just in case it does tend to, you know, lean again this this year. Because uh, that was pretty freaky when it fell over on me. It, I didn't know what it was. I got all this tree all over me and uh, it was it was pretty funny. But, uh, yeah, it's uh, holding up pretty good. And, you know, I did like, uh, I was reading online, you know, they said to drill a hole in the trunk of the tree, put the warm water in. And it should last quite a while. Now, there's a lot of things out there where you put the 7 up and you put the 2 aspirin in there. No. I don't know if that works, but this is working for me. I put the warm water and drill the hole, and the needles are holding up. They're not falling off. They're not turning brown. So it's really a good tree. But uh, to carry on with the vlogs, I was also in London last week, London, Ontario. And uh, they had 150 centimeters of snow. Now that week, uh, we had our tickets booked to see the trues a long time ago. And uh, getting close to the, the, the actual date of the concert, we're like, now should we go, should we not go, because they're getting hammered with snow. So the last day, it cleared up on the Friday when we were heading out there. When we got there, they had 150 centimeters of snow. And they had dump trucks all over the place trying to get rid of it all because they, they had no idea where to put the snow. And uh, I haven't seen that much snow in quite a few years. But it was great. I love the snow. And uh, I wish I had got some footage of that. But I did get some footage of the trues. Now, the concert was great that night. And I'm going to show you guys some footage. But I had to take out the audio because of copyright um, issues. So here we go. Here's the clip. Welcome back, everybody. I hope you guys enjoyed that, because I know I really enjoyed that concert. You know, I was with, uh, you know, friends, 
And, you know, we had a few drinks, we were enjoying the trues. And then afterwards, we had to walk about five blocks back to our hotel. And it was really cold, and I, you know, didn't bring my winter boots. And, you know, it was, it was cold, but it was all right. It was only four or five blocks. We got back to the hotel, and everything was fine. But, uh, you know, we left on the Saturday to come back. And it's funny, when you're driving, you see there's no, like here in Toronto, there's no snow at all. Then as we were driving, you could see all the way out there. So there's a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. Then we get there, and it's 150 centimeters. Now, London, it's only like, I think it's about an hour and a bit from Detroit. So, uh, you know, they got hammered with snow. And then there was another place here, um, Sarnia, Ontario, where they got hit pretty hard with snow, where a 30-kilometer stretch of highway had to get shut down because um, people were stranded in their cars. They couldn't move. Um, emergency vehicles couldn't get in. Uh, it was it was a mess. So they had to get guys in on snowmobiles. Um, I think they called in the army with helicopters to come in. But uh, they closed it down and they had to take all the people out and come back to the cars later. So they did go back the, the few days later after that to go get their cars back. But uh, I'm sure there's some footage. I've seen some footage on YouTube of what it was like, and it was it was pretty crazy. Um, you know, drifts right up the side of the car, like over the roofs of the car. It, it's 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 insane how much snow you can get in such a short period of time. But uh, it seems like it's going to be a brutal winter here in Toronto and Ontario because the last two winters have been fairly decent. They haven't been really cold. And we didn't really get much snow, so it looks like we're going to get it now. Um, which I'm okay with. I, I enjoy the snow. I enjoy skiing. Um, I like skating. So I do like the winter season, but it just goes way too long. So I would like to thank everybody for watching this week's vlog, vlog number 31. Please rate, thumbs up this video, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, everybody, and happy holidays. And you, you